It's impossible to see a sunflower and not smile, and so there are lots of smiles growing from the black soil of North Texas. The Texas Farm Bureau shows us how one farmer has been growing seeds of happiness for years. I could succeed as a farmer without growing sunflowers, but it's just fun to watch them grow and to watch people stop and take their pictures and enjoy them. As long as they respect the field, I don't have any problem with that. My name is Scott Bourne. We're just east of Ferris, Texas in Ellis County. I farm about 4,000 acres in Ellis, Dallas, and Kaufman counties. I rented this farm when I was 28 years old. They were taking bids on it, and so I just threw out a bid, and somehow I got it. 32 years later, I've still got it. Well, you know, it turns out that this area is a pretty good area to grow sunflowers. I think it kind of surprised people at first. In a year where, you know, corn or cotton may not do as well, the sunflowers may end up being pretty good. The first year that I grew sunflowers was in 2013. We were growing them for the oil seed market, but these last four years we've been growing them for the bird seed market. Same sunflower, but if you grow them for the bird seed market, they have to be black. Doesn't make any difference to the birds, but the people won't buy them at the store if they're gray. Generally, if you plant them in April, they're gonna be blooming in June sometime. So it takes a little over two months probably before they start blooming. And they're gonna be really pretty like this for maybe 10 days. We're expecting them to yield really well this year. The sunflowers are very heat tolerant. They're pretty drought tolerant too. You know, if you've got some good subsoil moisture, they don't require just a whole lot of moisture during the growing season to make a good crop. We use an Italian-made header that's really specifically made for sunflowers. It's a Fantini. They do a really good job of not losing any heads. We're usually trying to make a yield of about 2,000 pounds to the acre. But most of the contracts you get, they're only committing to buy 2,000 pounds to the acre. Sunflowers is kind of unlike other crops, whereas you, know, you can grow wheat or corn and then you can just start calling people and you can take it here, you can take it there. Sunflowers really aren't that way. You probably shouldn't grow them unless you have a contract with somebody and a buyer set up to begin with. But I think a lot of people are under the misconception that farming is a lot easier and requires a lot less knowledge and thought and experience than it really does. I can't make a seed germinate. God has to do that. But I can give it its best chance to. You know, we do our little parts in it, but there's so much of it that we don't control. So much of it's really just in God's hands or that God designed these plants to do. Even these sunflowers just amaze me that, you know, all of this yellow can somehow come out of black dirt. Just being able to have the privilege to watch that, to just have the sense that, you know, I'm providing stuff for people that need it. There's just a lot of satisfaction in that. My hope for the future of this farm is just that I can continue to operate as long as God allows me to. I really have no plans to retire and so as long as I'm able to work and to help my fellow man and I hope to be able to do that you know as long as God lets me to do it and I hope, I hope it's many years to come.